finals as he did in winner's finals. This should be over before we know it, but Cruncho, no pushover of an opponent. Pulls out the Joker as expected. I think the hero is safely in the pocket now. Game one of Grand Finals will take place on PS2. And a couple of up tilts and up airs from Dynamite to make sure that he has the early advantage. The down air not going to connect, but gets him with that missed tech into the down B. Forward air not meeting its mark, but the down air not spiking either. Doesn't spike, waits out the reflector. So, so well done from Dynamite. Only has 14% to the game compared to Cruncho's 135%. That shield will be very small too. That forward tilt will help make up some of the difference. Although that trade going to work in Dynamite's favor as he takes first blood in Grand Finals. Ahaz into the egg. And now Cruncho has, um, Cruncho has stage control for the first time this entire match. Throws him to the forward map to get it. Forward tilt won't land, but there are, of course, in the draw. As Arsene comes out, this will assist him in a major way. Shields that meeting fair. And gets him off stage, just chases him so well. Joker, no slouch, and no slouch when it comes to killing power in particular. Back air on top of the platform. Cruncher now has to land. He uses his gun to hate it. Approaching there. On to Cruncho. Dynamite did go for the pair. Uh, that would have landed on stage, but the forward smash almost killing at around 80%. Gets him with the egg layer as well. Tax on an additional damage. The additional bit of damage to the fair there. That up air will do it through the platform. Dynamite, a bit of a lead, but this is certainly doable for Cruncho. Ahab boosted. Down throw. And Dynamite is up to 120. And even with these fairs doing damage, you know. Arsene can come out and change things in a heartbeat. Although Dynamite finds a down tilt that will put Cruncho almost at triple digits. And now Dynamite is drifting too far outward. Just got pushed back by Cruncho. As that rebellion gauge starts to wane down to its conclusion. And there gets him with the non-strong spot of the fair, but no matter, way out of range for Joker's dropping hook. Dynamite snatches game one of Grand Finals. I wouldn't say it's convincing fashion, especially compared to how his last game one went, but, you know, for Dynamite, if that strategy can be kept up, if he can dominate neutral down the stretch, that'll be his ticket to winning this entire tournament. Game two, uh, it looks like the same skins for both characters, so no counter picks there. An early down air and a small low percent combo will put Cruncho at 35% immediately at down tilt. Uh, up tilt will start to respond, although that down B meets him right as he lands with a short hop man. Arsene already out within 15 seconds. Throws out two fairs just to warn him from getting too close. Throws an egg upwards as well, as if to say, you are getting back to the stage, whether you like it or not. I don't want any of these shenanigans. But the up smash is all the shenanigans Cruncho needs to take this first stock. Has a bit of a lead, up smash of his own. Anything you can do, Dynamite says, I can do better. And now, he has to find his way back into neutral. This back air is up air. Anything he needs, he just finds it. This is with the fourth match. He has a medium sized punish for it. Falling there from Cruncho. Trade will send Cruncho to the right, almost to the black zone. And that'll take all of our meter away. 
Cruncho will have to perform the rest of this stock in all likelihood by himself without Arsene to aid him. Forward tilt, just warding Dynamite away. And the back row, will he go for the back row? He will not, although he will go for the grappling hook instead. Just as the super armor from that jumper is off. Gets him with the egg light as well. Gets back. Good tech from Cruncho. And then necessary one at that. Dynamite gets him with the up air call out. And now he is on to his last stop. Nowhere near Arsene. Forward tilt from Cruncho. Puts Dynamite almost at 150. Covers himself with the egg to get back up. Good egg lay from Cruncho, uh, on Cruncho. And air dodges back on the stage in lieu of this jump that he has. That egg won't cover the stage, so even though Cruncho was not shielding, won't get too punished, and just out of recovery options is Dynamite. We're on to the last stock of game two. Cruncho about 14% down, although with Arsene out, easily able to make that back out. Arsene's going to go on the end of the game. Cruncho just slips back, and Dynamite waits out the, Rebel the Rebels guard smartly to the back row from Cruncho. Another one. Down B, to the safe, into the forward smash. And another back air from Cruncho. Finds two in a row and finds them at a time that was absolutely necessary. We are all square at one game apiece in Grand Finals. Dynamite mulling over the options as far as stage counterfeits goes. Had a lot of success against uh, most opponents on Kalos earlier, as we're going to see Yoshi's Island for the first time today on stream. This is something that, you know, it makes sense. Uh, the angles work well for aerial eggs, and, you know, it might mess up some, perhaps, angle, uh, angle grappling hooks that Cruncho wants to throw out. A forward smash on the platform, that's not going to connect on any stage. But that up tilt will already sends Arsene out. The egg on will start to even up the deficit over the approaching nair. And another nair will finish it off. Just two nairs. That's all you need for dynamite. An up tilt. Another up tilt from Puncho this time. Landing there. Forward tilt from Dynamite. Down throw from, or uh, down smash from Cruncho. The dash attack, and uh, what a read from Cruncho, just stayed his ground. And was rewarded with, almost with a kill there. I'm surprised that didn't kill as well, although that Aegeon will send him tumbling off into the distance. Cruncho with a dominant last 15 seconds. Dynamite has to be absolutely petrified of what Arsene can do offstage in those situations. Forward air spike into the up air, but no. Yoshi's Island, upper blast zone, just enough for Cruncho to survive that. You can see Eggle as well, additional bit of damage, makes it back safely. Slides in, and the drag down up air. Attack for Dynamite. The down smash from Cruncho. To get him off stage and will regain that space control he so desires. Arsene comes out and immediately throws out the AK on. This time covering himself with the egg lay and the egg throw. Just gonna shield this time and wait him out. Baits out the reflector as well. Good punish. It's as if he knew. Dynamite looking 
fishing for these up tilts to start combos. The down tilt won't do it. Unless he misses the tech, which Marcho most certainly did not. Air dodges around that, although he gets two frame there, and Dynamite has to use his jump to get that. Up tilt, up air. Gets him with the down beat as well. Two up airs in a row connecting a second ago. And now an egg lay off stage. Is that far enough? Well, no matter if it's far enough, it's far enough to go directly into Dynamite's awaiting outstretched foot. That'll mean game three, and that'll mean match point of this grand finals. 2-1 up. Uh, you're going to see the Smashville counterpick for Funchio. I like the decision. Uh, Smashville, of course, can have that center platform there at times. So especially when that transformation's out, might be looking to just get that drag down up air. A couple of up airs to begin with, this time up from Dynamite, though. And Arsene already out within 15 seconds. Aerial as a nuisance on Dynamite part, and the approaching there just goes off stage and gets the job done. Another back air from front row this time. Forward tilt. That tail coming out. Absolutely sending upwards straight into a follow-up. Although now it's Cruncho's turn for a small sequence of his own. And that tilt. The dash attack just misses. Yoshi's dash attack has so much end lag, and while it can be a bit of a combo tool, it has to be inch perfect if you want to connect, if you want to connect it. Rolls back inwards, although Dynamite just missed, got the read, but didn't get the space on the, the dash attack from Cruncho. The up tilt counters it, but doesn't get the counter hit. And the egg on will send him skyward down the back of the stage. How much more damage can he put on for his stock? It's inevitably taken by one of Joker's so, so forceful attacks. One up air, doesn't get the second one he's looking for, but already with the egg on on. Oh. Just waits out the Rebel Guard so smart. And Dynamite, he's seen it coming almost like half or greater of the time that he's throwing it up. Gets him with the Nair as well, right in the middle stages of that grappling hook, and just didn't have the reach to make it back. Dynamite, one stock away from taking Hat 75. Lands with an air on top of the central platform. Gets him with a back throw as well. He'll be going for the spike to finish it off. He does. And that option he's been looking for all day, he pops off. He unplugs his controller. What? What a finish. Hadn't been hitting that all day in winner's finals. Threw it a few times before that in bracket. But to close it off, right when he needs it, he gets it. Congratulations to Dynamite, your winner of Hollywood Action Tuesdays, number 75. Once again, you know, who said who said MSM is the only one hitting a milestone?